Train TV. On tonight's show, Jason Wally, frontman of Australian punk legends Frenzel Rom, talks with us about their latest album, High Viz High T, as well as parasitic creatures boring holes through his brain. Melbourne metal veterans Frankenbox stop in for a chat about their new look lineup, as well as returning home to the Hunter Valley for the occasional gig. And Lenny catches Ben Quinn backstage for an unusual story about Ray Martin. All that, plus the usual bullshit, but first, here's Friends All Wrong with Classic Pervert live at Trashville 2018. <laughs> Ben Quinn, huh? This is the first interview I've done since Ray Martin burned me that time. How did he burn you? Oh, he went through me fucking garbage. <laughs> Made out I was a mad doll bludger and that. You'd remember it. It's not a current affair back in the 90s. Why does uh, Xavier Rudd play didgeridoo? Tell me why Xavier Rudd plays didgeridoo. Because it's as close as he can get to sucking a tree's cock. <laughs> well, Lenny here with Ben Quinn, Master of Ceremonies today. Quinny, how are we? Good, Len, how are you? Very well, sir, very well. How are you finding it so far? It's good, mate. It's hotter than a blue movie, but everyone seems pretty happy. The band's are good. So you can tell everyone why I should come to Trashville next year? Because there are no festivals like this anywhere else. It's a community, everyone's mates. Uh, everyone gets the spirit, the newcomers get it straight away because it's not so much indoctrinated, it's just in the, it's in the trees out here. And everyone gets it the minute they walk in, they take a deep breath and go, wow, this is how they used to be, these festivals. And you know, you've been to your share of them, and especially Gumball and Skyline, which are more family sort of orientated days, and that's your best security. You've got kids running around everywhere, having a blast, listening to great music, having a drink, not having a drink, the kids. People come once and then they come every year. Exactly. Anyway, mate, well, thanks for chatting to us. We'll see you on stage later on. Thank you, Lenny. And back to you, Barry. Sorry, Lenny, I just brushed your gut there. That's fine, about worse. A little bit erotic, wasn't it? A little bit stiff. Hey, I'm, I'm Frankenbach, we're with Frankenbach and we're at Frankenbach.
Hey, with Jay and Chambers from uh, Night Train TV, we're here at Thrashville with uh, Frank and Bok. How you going, boys? Fucking good, fucking good. Fucking good. Only got one microphone, so fucking speak up, right on. <laughs> Your sixth album came out uh, kind of like halfway through last year, late last year. Yep. How's the fucking response been so far? It's been awesome. It's been yeah. awesome. Yeah, unexpected. Like you know, kind of uh, loving it, man. There, a lot of people have sort of said it's the first time that uh, the band actually sounds on record like it kind of sounds live. First yeah. time it's translated to actually what we sound like, you know, rather than what a studio, what an engineer thinks we should sound, so, you know. We've got a massive reception here in, in Hunter Valley in, in Newcastle. Yeah, I mean, you guys yeah. have got a pretty consistent following. All the uh, reviews, my missus said, did you write these? Yeah. Oh, I, said yeah. To, I said to Azza, how much did we pay for these reviews? He's yeah. like, no, nah, it's legit. Yeah. Fuck yeah, off. fuck well, yeah. It's, it's a top album. Oh, it's it's that, like, you know, you guys, every time that you go through Australia, like on tour, you very rarely miss the fucking Newcastle Hunter area. Is there a reason that you keep coming back to God's country? The people, man. People here are unreal. Like, uh, every time, I think the first time we played here, we got a good reception. So every time we come back, and we kind of quickly realised, if you leave it for six months, it sort of dies off. But the more you come back, the more it builds. And uh, Newcastle people are pretty loyal, you know? And they keep coming back, you know? And it's, it's the place and the people, everything about it, man. That's what I mean. Yeah, yeah, fucking oath, man, yeah, yeah. it's uh, home away from home, so and every time we come here we're looked after and the people up in Newcastle are some of the best people around, so yeah, fuck yeah, it's good to hear. I get to see me Nana as well. Yeah. Nana no, Bok, Nana fuck Bok. yeah, shout, shout out to fucking Nana Bok. She's 93 and fighting fit, you know, like just still... It's all that metal in her veins. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely, yeah. She said to me, you know, have a good night, kill them boys, kill them. That's every time we leave the house, make sure you kill them. What's up with Frankenbach in 2018? What can we expect from you guys? We want to uh, definitely go more international. 
and put out another record. But well, there's been some notable lineup changes over the last uh, sort of two years. You, you want to run us through uh, some of that? Yeah, man. Basically, us three. We're all new, man. Yeah. And you as well. I'm not pretty me. fucking. Not that you're in the band. As a, I'm pretty fucking hard to be around. That's all there is to it. Man. These guys have come. After a couple of years, they're like, you know, fuck this. I can't be. I don't care how much fun I'm having. I can't. Can't do it. Now we think you're tops anyway, brother. Yeah, no, I'm pretty good drink stuff. worn out by the way that you're not just like you're throwing some satans up in the air right now i'm sure that our satanic power will encourage you to i'm not going to swear there are children i think ah uh, satan is more important than swearing if you want to teach people about counterculture forget about swearing and other norms teach them about satan and if you forget about that you'll forget how to ride riding is very important don't turn out not to be a cowgirl after all <laughs> Lenny and Chambers here with Luke and Dean from Gay Paris. How are we boys? Oh, fantastic, fantastic. Ugly and old. So welcome to Dashville. You guys have had friends play here. You've had the Stiffies and Snowdroppers. Have they told you about this place? Uh, me, honestly, I, no, I've never heard of this place before. Uh, getting an email saying, do you want to come down here? And I said, 
uh, what's going to what's going to be the the rider situation? I said sixteen tickets. I said I'm in. <laughs> I try not to talk to my friends. Um, Ends friendships, so no. Which explains why you talk to me so much. That makes all the sense now. You guys, you guys had a very quiet 2017. I think Lachlan was off being a prog rocker, and Adam was just driving everywhere. Yeah, what can we expect from 18? Listen, big things. Uh, we are gonna. We're, we're in the midst of writing uh, some great tunes. Another uh, concept album, perhaps. Uh, not. Yeah, not. Way through this. not not on my like I play bass, so I'm not. My concept is that I'm just fucking rule and drink some beers. I, everyone's got their shit locked down. I'm just I'm just waiting on that perfect bass line but th- before I let you hear it. But it's coming. But it's fucking coming, guys. We're gonna tour a lot uh, around. Can you give the us like a, a vocal rendition of this bass line. This probably this probably. Gonna Are these lyrics gonna make sense to anyone but you? If I tell you that it's not a concept album, you shouldn't take that as synonymous with comprehensibility. Com- comprehensibility. No, yeah, you're not going to know what the fuck I'm talking about. Excellent, excellent. Just like this, like that. Yeah. <laughs> you guys have done a whole tour with King Parrot in the past. Yes. Can we expect some kissy punchy backstage this afternoon? Whoa! Let me just fill. Uh, can we explain what kissy punchy is? Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Uh, we were touring the uh, Sunshine Coast, beautiful Sunshine Coast, in uh, with King Parrot. Um, pretty bit of a rough, rough place. We're, we're called Gay Paris. Uh, a lot of people didn't like that. Uh, some guy was giving you grief, I think, for drinking wine, which is not a which homosexual. Which is delicious. I said, you know what? It's going to piss this guy right <laughs> off. They're going to kiss him right on the mouth. And I kissed him right on the mouth, and they got really annoyed. And then I kissed him again, and then he started throwing punches. And that's kissy punchy. Hope this, is this is a lovely crowd. This is just a kissy kissy crowd. Yeah, let's kiss okay. kissy. Let's kiss kissy. Let's kissy kissy. Love it. Yeah. So, so other than King Parrot, who else are you guys keen to check out for the rest of the afternoon? We got, I mean, we got Bat Piff. Love it. Piff. They're, they're bleaker than I am. I know. Which Very. makes me happy, which is fucking terrifying. You fucking love misery. Yeah. And the fact that you love misery makes you happy. Yeah. What a fucking conundrum it that is. Me even more miserable. Which you love. It's perfect. It's never ending. It's like. Don't you dare this is some of the go- gotcha journalism that I was told about. <laughs> no, no. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, dudes, thanks for hanging out. Do you want to say something, Chambers, before we end this? I really like your band. Yes! Sick, cool dudes. Well, thanks for hanging out. Enjoy the rest of your day at Thrashville, and fucking thanks for stopping by. Yeah, no worries. Thank you. Festival, I'll have it right. Yeah, that was in the pocket. It'll be the fifth anniversary of the pig worm. Um, who are you and why am I here? I'm Lenny from Beresford Bowling Club and we just really want to be famous off you, so... This is, uh, to be honest, a quite poor start on that road. So how, how have the shows been going? You're obviously touring the newest album. The shows have been going very well, um, I, I think. Um, we've been doing sort of a lot of regional places around Australia, which, um, as everyone knows, you're sort of constantly treading that line between ultimate hospitality and extreme violence wherever you go. I remember turning up to the show and the woman that was um, sort of greeted us at the door to make us sign into the club, um, I said, oh, how do you think tonight will go? And she goes, oh, I reckon there'll be about eight fights. And I was like, 
Are you measuring the success of the night on the number of fights? Out of 10, and, uh, yeah. of and then uh, at the end of the night, I went up and um, I said, um, oh, so, you know, how'd you, how'd you go? And she goes, 11. <laughs> um, after I had the, um, the brain surgery, because I had a tapeworm uh, egg uh, embedded in my brain that I picked up in South America, and then when they took it out, for ages, I felt like I couldn't actually write any choruses. And um, choruses are really the only good thing about our band. <laughs> and so I was like, man, if we're stuck with those verses and those shit middle bits, we're like, we're done. So it took me about a year or so um, to get back into the swing of it. Um, but yeah, I think we got there in the end. There's a few, I mean, you guys had a few obstacles with recording the album. Gordy broke his arm, you, you were crook. In the end, are you happy with the, the uh, final product? Oh, look, if you were 100% happy about your records, you'd never do another one. But um, I think it turned out pretty good. Yeah. I remember when we were flying over to record it, um, Gordy was listening to all our demos on his headphones and he was like, I don't think we've got an album. I don't think this is very good. I was like, don't tell us that now, mate. We're on the plane. But, um, you know, even he was uh, pleasantly surprised at the finished product. It's always good when you know, the bands are actually happy with it. Last thing you want is a miserable drummer, because we're pricks when we want to be. Yes, you are. You, I think you're one of the few people who have played both Thrashville's now. Correct. Actually, this band playing now, Dean, Beef is also... Uh, right. Beef Plea played last week, uh, last year, yeah. sorry. And, of, of course, obviously you've also got... You and Lindsay had a long, long... Not forgotten by me, the Self-Righteous Brothers. Can we hear more of that in the future, do you think? I desperately hope not. I mean, it was a terrible project that should never have got off the ground in the first place. Um, if I ever get married, I insist that the, my future bride makes our first dance sperm in my eyes. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> that is a beautiful, beautiful thought. Uh, so I've got a little recording studio in Sydney called the Pet Food Factory, and um, I record bands. People come in, record their bands with me. I press record and give them my... Two cents. And then you're a producer on a fucking thing somewhere and you're yeah. done, right? Pretty much. <laughs> Encourage them to use percussion when they don't need it. Friends, what are you guys up to after? I mean, are you still touring? Is there any plans after that? Um, we are going to start writing a new record. Um, I've already started writing a couple of songs and um, we've got a lot of sort of festival y sort of things coming up. Anyways, man, thanks yeah. for joining us. Uh, obviously, yeah. Great day. I'm sure you're going to have a great time. Thanks for being a part of Night Train TV. Hey, mate. Thank you very much, and uh, good luck with all your endeavours. Thank you. Thanks, man. Cheers. That's better. Um, this song's about taking magic mushrooms and realising that the person you're with is a shit bag. You told me to be Chakra, speak to my inner consciousness Maybe listen to jump on my And other rubbish that bored me to shit You want to tip me up the north coast Where everything is so much better Where we can play gym based on the beat You used to get me, you used to get me
What is a hippie's favourite phase of his driver's license? Green peas. Not bad, I, I, I don't mind it. I wouldn't say it's laughing out loud, but it's growing on me. Actually, there it is. It's yeah, green peas, not bad. Yes, you 